Welcome to another video from Excellent CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will show you six different methods to rename worksheets in Excel. So here is the first method, the most popular one. To rename a particular sheet, double click on the sheet tab. See the sheet tab is in edit mode and the existing worksheet name is selected. Type in the new sheet name and press the enter key. See the sheet got renamed. Now the second method to rename a sheet. Right click on the sheet tab. Rename. Type in the new sheet name. And press the enter key. Now the third method to rename a sheet. Select the sheet. In the home tab. Format. Rename sheet. Type in the sheet name. And press the enter key. The fourth method to rename sheet is using a keyboard shortcut. To rename the current sheet, press Alt H O R. Type in the new sheet name and press the enter key. The fifth and the sixth methods are using the VPA interface of Excel. So to activate the VPA editor, go to the developer tab, click on Visual Basic. The VPA editor of Excel is activated. And as you can see, every worksheet of this workbook is listed here. To rename a particular sheet, for example, EX3, select the corresponding label and in the properties window, type in the new sheet name against the label name. And if you cannot find this properties window, view properties window. Now type in the new sheet name against the label name example 100 and when I press the enter key see the sheet got renamed. Method number 6 is a bit different from the other methods and is for renaming every worksheet of a workbook in a single go. For example, to rename these sheets as example 1, example 2, example 3 etc. We'll insert a new module, right click, insert, module We'll name this macros rename sheets. Decline memory. A as worksheet. Decline memory. B as integer. B equal 1. Now a for loop. For each A inactive workbook. Dot worksheets a dot name equal double quotes example space double quotes space ampersand space b b equal b plus one to close the for loop next a so for every iteration of this for loop the value of B will increase by 1. Rename sheets is our macro. To execute the macro, macros, rename sheets, click on run. See every worksheet of this workbook got renamed. Example 1, example 2, example 3, example 4, etc. And if you want to add a prefix for every worksheet here, for example, a prefix JAN, for every worksheet here, Visual Basic, we'll copy this code, paste it here, we'll rename this macro as rename sheets 2. We don't need this part. Type in the prefix here, J A N space ampersand A dot name. We'll delete this part. To execute the macro, macros, rename sheets to run. See the prefix JAN got added to every worksheet name here. Now to add a suffix for these worksheets, for example, the number 2021, Visual Basic, we'll copy the code, 
paste it here. We'll rename the macro to rename sheets three. We'll delete the part for prefix. Ampersand, double quotes, space, two zero, two one. Double quotes. This part will become the suffix. Close the Visual Basic Editor. Macros. Rename Sheets 3 is our macro. Click on Run to execute the macro. See the suffix 201 code added to every worksheet name here. Hope you got something new from this video. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel so that you won't miss any future video releases. Thanks for watching. Wish you a great day.